Hey, I'm Anya from Anya's Reviews, your source for all things barefoot shoes. Today we're talking about one of my favorite barefoot shoe brands, Freet. Freet specializes in functional footwear for outdoor activities. They're based in the UK and they carry a full range of sizes starting at EU30, which is a big kid size, all the way to EU48. They have a variety of vegan options and they tend to be lower priced than other barefoot shoe brands in the same category, which makes them a popular choice for a lot of people. Another thing I love about Freet is that they have a consistently wide forefoot shape. So if you've tried barefoot shoes in the past and found them too narrow or maybe too squishy on the outside toes, then Freet would be a really good brand for you to try. Check the video description for a link to more info on the different foot types and barefoot shoe brands that might work well for them. Another feature of Freet barefoot shoes is that they're all very lightweight, even the waterproof hiking boots. They also are all built on a four millimeter outsole, which is really thin for even for a barefoot shoe. The nice thing about it though, is that all the shoes come with an extra insole. So if you're not comfortable in shoes that are that thin, then you have some options. This is an ortholite insole from Freet and it's six millimeters. So if you were to wear this inside your Freet shoe, it would be 10 millimeter stack height, which is a really good mid thickness for someone who's new to barefoot shoes or who just wants a little extra cushion. A lot of the other models come with this insole, which is two and a half millimeters thick, which would make your shoes about six and a half total. While Freet's shape is consistent, the sizing is not. You can see here three different models of Freet shoes, all in a size 37, but they're all different lengths. The Freet Tanga runs small, and I wish that I had sized up in them. The Freet Richmond runs true to size. And on the far right, the Freak Feldum runs big. Because of these differences in sizing between models, I recommend reading the product description for every item that you're looking at before ordering. Freak makes three different outsole types. The multi-grip is an everyday, all-purpose outsole with a little bit of tread that's meant to cross between pavement and light trail. Then you have the Grip Plus, which is a little deeper tread and a little more rugged. Finally is the Hill Grip, which is a new outsole type from Freet. It has a deep tread and is meant for trail, loose rocks, slippery mud, and more intense hiking situations. Now that we've covered the basics of the brand, let's go into these eight models that I have here. This is the Freet Feldum. It's made on the Hill Grip outsole, and it has a really, really thin, light upper. They're super light and flexible and soft, and I really love these shoes a lot. I wear them on pavement and on trails, and they're just extremely comfortable. The Free Pace is Justin's all-time favorite sneaker. He's been wearing them almost daily for the past year and a half. These come with a 6mm insole, so they're a little bit thicker, which is perfect for him because he's more new to barefoot shoes and he likes a little bit of cushion. The upper is knitted and it's really soft, and he actually doesn't do the laces, he just slips them on and off. This is the Free Tanga. This is a sock-like shoe with a pull-on elastic opening so that you don't have to do laces every time and has a really breathable upper. These run small. I wish I had sized up in them. Uh, I have a 37 and I wish I had gotten a 38, but I still like them quite a bit. I wear them without socks and they're great, easy to put on in the summer. These two hiking boots are fairly new to Freet. They're made on the Hill Grip outsole. This is the Tundra and this is the Ibex. This is the vegan version and this is leather. They are both waterproof, they're both lightweight hiking boots, and they have a interior lining, but it's not super warm, so they're kind of a good transitional shoe for fall uh, and spring. This is the Muddy, which is also vegan. It's a lower height than the other boots. It's made on the Grip Plus outsole instead of the Hill Grip. So this is a good in-between style shoe. It has a thick collar around the ankle, so it fits kind of small on people. The Richmond is a leather desert boot style. It has an attached tongue and the multi-grip outsole. They've got a classic look to them. They can be kind of dressed up or just everyday casual wear. And then finally, the City. This is a vegan shoe, which it's hard to find a vegan the shoe that looks like a traditional dress shoe. So this is a great option for that. They do run small, so I would recommend sizing up in these. You can use code ANYASREVIEWS10 to get 10% off of anything from Freet. Check the links in the description for more articles on in-depth information about some of these Freet models, as well as general barefoot shoe information.